Well, I'm not sure what we've got here. This is either going to be a watch or it's going to be a gold top of a bottle. And I think it's a gold top of a bottle. Yes. Well, isn't that lovely? One gold top. Okay, moving on. Well, not sure what we've got in here. Um, it could be just junk. Uh, but we'll have a little look. <laughs> It's a brooch, I can see it this way, and that would have been part of the pin, wrapped around the pin there, and I can see the indentation the other side. Yeah, it's part of a brooch, most definitely. Okay, moving on. Well, found a few of these on here, and the other fields. It's a dome. It's copper alloy. I, I, I thought it was part of a button or a button, but there's no place for the shank on the back um, or whether it's an insert into the back uh, of a button I, I don't know um, but I, it's quite old this is and um, I found a couple of these on here and uh, it could be part of a horse brush something like that no idea but uh, there you can see it it's a domed um, kind of uh, round disc and uh, it's concave uh, on the back and then uh, it's domed there on the front. Okay, well down there some six inches, one animal tube. I have found countless ones of these on here but hey, got to get rid of them to find the good stuff. One animal tube. On to the next. Well that's another three cow tubes. Oh no! <laughs> I seem to have hit a hoard of cow tubes. Well, in here I think we've got ourselves a little coin. It looks like a sixpence. Ooh, oh yes baby. It's a sixpence. George V. George V. Sixpence. Wow, look at that. I don't know if that's 50%. Let's have a look what date it is. 1923 well that's more than I think that's uh, pretty good I can't remember the silver content at 923 but it's more than 50 percent um, very nice thank you very much one silver six months okay we have down here what looks like a buckle uh, again not very old quite a modern one actually but it's uh, it's a brass one, it's uh, quite a heavy, heavy one too. Um, I don't know, 20th century, early 20th century maybe, mid. But that's not very old, but it's a nice buckle. Well, down there, I don't know, four or five inches, uh, have this, uh, this mount and, oh, I like it. Uh, it's medieval and uh, could be early medieval by the looks of it and uh, it's got some gilding on it I hope you can see it I'm afraid to uh, rub it too much but that oh yeah oh I don't want to rub the gilding off that is beautiful uh, it's uh, got a, like a scallop at the top uh, there and it comes down into a point you uh, comes down into a point you turn it over and you've got your two pins one is still intact you can see where the other one had broken off and um, that's how I should imagine it was discarded or came away from the uh, from the leather but that I like that is a beautiful uh, mount and um, would have hung that way. Oh yes, baby, I like that. 
I love finding these old medieval uh, little artifacts, uh, farming stuff, stuff off horse bridles and the like and off belts. That I like very, very much. I'll clean that up. Looks like he's got a bit of a pattern in the middle. But I don't want to rub it because I'll rub some of the gilding off. But that I am very, very pleased with. Okay, moving. Well, I thought I'd attempt a live dig. I haven't got my tripod so it'll bounce around a bit, but... But we've got something here. Uh, 76 on the numbers. So we're going to give it a go anyway. <coughs> Still in the hole. Get my pinpointer. and nothing. Okay. <laughs> Nice indeed. Uh, not only copper alloy, not a precious metal, but uh, it's a, that's either a child's or a lady's, it's not a gent's, that's too small for a gent's. Uh, uh, I got some. Uh, oh, that's very nice. The, uh, you can see the pin or the, the bar is still uh, pointing out, just rusted away. It was an iron, uh, would have gone across there, and then the uh, it would have gone like that, actually, and the, the straps would have come across. I'm very pleased with that. That's a Tudor shoe buckle. Well, it looks as though we got something interesting in here. Right, it's in there, so we'll have a look, see what we've got. Okay. That's in the, it's in there somewhere. In here. Oh, there it is. One little musket ball. Perfectly round. Now, if it was fired, it never hit anything. But that is one perfect musket ball. Well, not sure what we've got here. Um, it's uh, it's lead uh, and it's shaped and it's got a raised border and. Uh, has got two little indentations there, not sure what it is. They come through to the other side. Um, it looks like it was a like a part of a seal or something like that. Uh, don't know how old. Uh, it doesn't look that uh, old, but neither does it look that recent either. But um, it's... it could be. No, no. Um, no idea. Anyway, it's a piece of lead shaped with a raised border with two lugs. Well, whatever it is, it's there in the side of the wall. I don't think it's uh, anything exciting, but we'll give it a give it a little. Oh, that's a stone. <laughs> ah, it's under the stone. Here it is. <laughs> There's nothing. Oh, it's. Uh, I think it's been part of a strap end. Uh, yeah, it, I can see the uh, the pins, the two pins. That would have been part of a strap end. Oh yes, not so bad after all. 
Um, see the pin there, and there would have been. Oh, I've got a bit of pin in my hand. There would have been a pin there, pin there, through the leather, and that would have been the end of a strap end. And there is. It's just broken off, no way. A uh, little bit of the pin that would have gone through uh, through the leather. So um, that is quite a nice find, actually. Well, this one's for Pat, uh, Magic Ones. You asked the question regarding the depth of some of my finds. Well, that one's down, what, about eight inches. And all it was was a uh, front of a padlock. Uh, very modern, uh, got some writing on it, most probably patented or something like that. And uh, that was down well, got eight inches, it was right in there. And uh, so, yeah, I do get some down at depth, but most of my finds are between four and six inches. Okay, Pat, on to and the there's the rest of the padlock in the same hole. Uh, would have gone something like this, I should imagine. Something like that anyway. There you go. One padlock. Well, back out on the pasture again and uh, hopefully we'll find some good stuff today. Before I start, I'd like to give just a couple of shout outs. I keep forgetting to give the shout outs. And were there some great guys uh, on the uh, YouTube channels um, with their metal, metal detecting videos and uh, the first one I've got to give a shout out to is my good friend Neil uh, and Alfie, Coin Meister, North Wales. Look up his channel. He is a great guy. His uh, videos are going from strength to strength. Got quality videos and quality finds. And uh, I've got a little fella coming to see me. Uh, one of the many horses on this on this site. I hope he goes by without giving me a kick. Um, anyway, Neil Coinmeister, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Cressy7 is back. Pete, uh, you're another great guy, fabulous with your ideas and love your banter between Neil and yourself. Uh, just love watching these videos, absolutely great. Um, Pat, Magic Ones and uh, uh, Little John, look up his site as another great guy. Uh, Treasure Hunting Scotland and Relic Hunting Scotland, two great guys, Mark and Dave. Uh, another load of great videos, great stuff. Well, a nice gilded button, uh, not that old, um, I don't know, 20th century, but you can see all the gilding on it and uh, it would have been, perhaps, you never know, um, off the jacket of a uh, of a horseman, uh, maybe uh, from the local hunt, and uh, that would have been a nice gold button on his red jacket, or uh, something like that. I think they had silver ones on the black jackets and uh, gold ones on the red jackets. Um, but uh, that's what that is—a nice gilded button. Okay. Well, down there, I don't know, five, six inches, a piece of modern junk. I can't see it being anything else. Uh, it's uh, suffer some sort of pipe, chunk of pipe. It's not lead, it's uh, some sort of alloy, but that's what it is anyway. Well, all we've got here is a fragment of a uh, crotal bell. Um, you see the pattern down there, but it's a tiny fragment of a small, uh, the pattern is there, but it's a fragment of a very small um, crotal bell. Okay. Well, a good eight inches down there, uh, I think that this is the leg of a pot. Um, I can actually see uh, it, it's, they're all broken off, but it looks like the foot, uh, to me anyway, of an animal. It's uh, like the paw of an animal. And that is the leg of uh, some sort of pot. Now, I am right on uh, the Roman road here. Right on it. And um, back last year, uh, 
I think I've mentioned it in a previous video, they they had to dig all this out down to uh, a level of about a metre, metre and a half, to lay in some cables uh, for a wind farm that is the other side of the village. And um, they ran this cable and it had to go onto the Roman road. And they had architects, architects, They had archaeologists here uh, watching as they were doing it, but they, apparently they didn't seem to do very much. But that um, is definitely very, very old. Um, it's not iron, and yet there's iron in it. Um, and it's very, very heavy. But that is the pot of a cauldron, uh, at the leg of a cauldron, or the leg of a pot of some sort. And that was down there about eight inches. And I am just wondering if that came up uh, from the Roman road, um, it, nothing to identify it, it could be, it might be, it might not be, but it at least inspires me to look a little bit more. I've been up and down here, found the James half Croat the other day, just there, um, so I, I'm up and down this all the time and seeing what I can find, but that is the leg, I've got several uh, pot legs and that is definitely one of them. Okay, moving on. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, bit of a roundup from my last uh, hunt. Um, first of all, all the junk. Uh, copper strap. Uh, I don't know what that is. Bit of junk. Pull tabs. More cow tubes. <laughs> um, I'm sure we all find them. Forever finding bottle tops. Uh, but that's another bottle top, another one there, uh, another one broken there, um, another cow tube, and then a couple of bits and pieces, that's lead, um, no idea what these are for, that's come, looks like a valve of some sort out of a tractor, uh, junk, um, stainless steel or whatever that is, nut, um, again a bit of metal, part of something, not sure what it is, I think it's in the video, but um, uh, not a clue, it's part of something, another bit of uh, copper strap and <laughs> a drawing pin, plastic covered drawing pin, however that got in the middle of the field, I don't know, but then coming on to some of the good stuff, um, here we have a ladies uh, or child's shoe buckle, Tudor. Uh, the bar would have been across there and there would have been a leather strap through there and that would have gone on the shoe. Uh, no real design on it. Um, it's not silver or anything like that, but nice find, complete. Um, then I found this uh, little button here. A uh, gilded button on both sides. I thought there was some writing on it, but there's not. Uh, but I s would suggest that's come off a, um, a, a horseman, horsewoman's jacket. Uh, maybe a red coat with gold buttons uh, or a black jacket with gold buttons. Who knows? Um, but that's a nice, that would have been a nice gilded button. Um, Musket ball, uh, part of a brooch, uh, you can see the design on that, but uh, and where this would have been part of the catch, and that's where it would have fitted, um, but I think that's what that is, it's not silver, um, it's just, I don't know, base metal. A uh, couple of buttons, this one has got, uh, not that old, but it's got some design, I thought it was writing, but it's little designs around the outside, pity that wasn't complete. Um, and then another button very similar to that, which has got writing on it, uh, our own button or something it says. Um, not sure what that was, a little clasp of some sort, it's lead. Uh, it's got two little pin marks on the back. I don't know whether it was part of a, um, a bale seal or a, a bag seal, or something like that. Uh, that's what that is. And then this domed um, artifact. I thought it was a button originally, but there's no place on the back for a shank. And I found a couple of these, and maybe it was part of a horse brass or something like that. Again, not that old. Another buckle. 
and um, again, I don't know, early 20th, mid 20th century, and that is actually a part of a crotal bell. Um, I would like to have found a complete one, but you can see the design in there, that's part of a little crotal bell. Found a lock, padlock, uh, again not that old, I think it says patent there and whatever. Um, but that was in pieces in one hole, and uh, that's the other part at the back end, and the clasp at the top. But now we come to two very interesting pieces. This is uh, part of a strap end, uh, I would say medieval strap end, the leather would have fitted in there and pinned uh, through there, um, quite old that is, and I would suggest that that's uh, medieval or maybe just post medieval and the same goes for this uh, belt mount it's like in a heart shape it's got some gilding on it um, the two one clasp is complete the other one is broken off where it would have gone through the leather leather and bent over uh, that is either looking it up on the uh, on the site on the net um, the portable antiquity scheme site it uh, suggests some suggest medieval uh, and others suggest medieval stroke post medieval so anything from about i would say 1400s up to about 1600s but i love finding these little mounts i found a few bar mounts on the same field and that's a little heart-shaped whether it's heart-shaped with a little scallop at the top and um, as I said it's uh, a belt mount then I found this this without a shadow of a doubt is a pot leg and would have sat something like that and the pot would have been around there like that and now there's iron in it as you can see but I'm not sure what this is. It looks like, I don't know, bronzish. I, uh, it, how it would mix like that, I don't know. But that has sat like that, and that is a pot leg. Now, I found this right on the Roman road. It was down not that far because, as I said, they'd run some cables through on this Roman road, and they dug down to about, uh, I think it was... Um, uh, nearly a meter something like that to lay this cable and uh, they would have just laid this back over so that could have come down from some depth and I don't know I'd like to think it was Roman maybe not I've looked at some on the uh, on the site the portable antiquity site and there's nothing quite like it they're all really bronze this is it's more than iron it's too heavy for just being iron but there's iron in it and that looks like it's got a shaped pore of something part of at the bottom and that would have sat like that sits perfect and the pot would have come round like that so um i'm very very pleased with that so uh one other find uh i found this 1921 george fifth um sixpence uh just one year after the 925 silver this is a 50% silver uh, but still a great find uh, George V sixpence now uh, Coinmeister North Wales asked if I would show um, some of my uh, 60 plus hammered coins uh, and I'm gonna do that it was not only Neil uh, Coinmeister who asked me for these but one or two have asked me over the um, over the last couple of years I've actually been detecting two and a half just over two and a half years three years in late September this year will be three years um, but here are some I've started sorting the uh, hammered coins out uh, these are Americans uh, coins that were sent to me um, and uh, one half crown uncirculated half crown which shouldn't be rattling around there but I'm in the middle of sorting them out and also that was sent to me um, from the States that is a 1902 uh, 
sovereign and Edward the seventh sovereign that is an absolute beauty and I haven't got that into a cover yet but I will do that now these are the uh, coins that I found um, some of them anyway I'll, I'll go through them in a minute but this was the last um, hammered coin I found this is the James the first uh, 16 15 16 16 mint date and that's that one so uh, these are that's a John cut quarter um, and that is a John cut half uh, and then I have a pile in here and all these have been found in the last two and a half years there's another cut half there I won't go through every every one of them but these are the hammered coins that I found over the last two, two and a half years. Well, these are some of them. I've got some in another box, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, all great hammered coins. That is a sovereign ha uh, sovereign uh, penny. Uh, that is a got a little hole in it. Apparently, they used to um, sew their uh, silver coin to their clothes. Uh, for good luck. Well, there wasn't such good luck there. They dropped it for me to find. Um, let me have a look. Another one there. Uh, all different ones. Some really well uh, kept. Oh, that is a beauty, that one. Um, so many of them. I could go through them. Right, let's count them. Uh, there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, there's 25 there, and then there's uh, 26, 28, there's 28, and then the others I have in this box here. So I'll just move that there, put them there, put that on top of all that junk, and uh, still a load in here. Okay, some rose farthings, um, more cut halves there, more rose farthings there, uh, some more small denomination. Uh, and then others along here, I don't know how that one, that's a Vicky Sixpence, however that got in there, um, and another Vicky Sixpence, that should be down there, uh, oh, Nuremberg Jettons that are in there, and some Hammer Coins, some Love Tokens, uh, as I said, I've given some away, um, different people so however that many is uh, that's missing there there's another one there so what's that I can't remember 20 28 32 34 36 38 40 42 44 uh, so there's coming up towards 50 there so I've given a good dozen or more away to different people you know I just give them away because what am I going to do? Sit there and look at them or something. Um, that's a posy ring that I found in my early days. It's actually on the same site as I'm finding all this stuff here. Uh, but found that uh, inside it is uh, in, inscribed, love is all. Um, anyway, and then there's others on this other trays. But I think there is about... 50 something hammer coins and I've given several away uh, there's a couple of Romans here uh, and these are just silvers these bullheads actually I think that one was my very first coin that I ever found that bullhead there uh, with my ace 250 <laughs> really pleased with that but anyway those are the um, the hammered coins there and those in there and hopefully I'll get all those transferred into uh, little 
display cards like that and write on them what they are but I am very pleased with my gold sovereign there's a half sovereign in there somewhere oh no I've got that in the house in a display cabinet uh, but beautiful coins and um, I didn't want to go through them all you don't want to be bored to death with just watching all the different uh, monarchs but that isn't that there's a very modern 1955 uh, uncirculated half crown that is a uh, silver dollar there's something about that that's special I'll have to find out and there's a couple of others uh, I don't know what they call them Adam sent to me from America not that I'm not interested in American coins but I'm more interested in uh, British finds so I hope that uh, is okay for you to see and if you need any more information on those hammered coins just drop me an email or PM me and I will fill you in. Thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for commenting on my videos, thanks for watching and please subscribe, hit the like button and uh, I will see you on the next hunt.